Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Roblox internal server error which works in both Windows 10 and Windows 11 because the solutions are meant for when playing Roblox in a browser. So firstly you have to open up your default browser and then simply start by accessing the main Roblox sign-in page which I'll also post in the description below. In here the first solution is quite simple. Refresh your page using the F5 key until you can sign back in. Even though the solution sounds too simple, it sometimes works wonders. So make sure to try it out. Moving on, another great solution is to check the server status. To do this just open up again your browser and access the other link that I posted in the description below. This is the official page for the server status of the Roblox game. In here you'll see if there's any service disruption or any errors that are happening on the server and in this case you just have to wait. But otherwise, if the server is alright, you have to try out the next solutions. Moving on, another great solution is to clear the browser cache and also the cookies. The example that I will show you will happen in Google Chrome. So if you want to clear these cookies and cache, what you have to do is press on the three dots next to your profile icon and then simply hover over the history option and then click on history. Now in here you have an option on the left pane that says clear browsing data, so click on it. And now the last thing you have to do is tick the box next to cookies and other site data and also the cached image and files and as well the browsing history. You can also choose a time range but it's preferably the last option. Now you can just click on the clear data button and both the browser cache and the cookies will be cleared out. You can then check if the problem still persists with the Roblox game. And lastly another great solution is to simply troubleshoot the internet connections. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and afterwards click on the run button next to internet connections. Now Windows will try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. And you can just close these both windows and then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.